So here we are at the golf shop and I have acquired some special golf lead weights to see if I can balance my wheel. Right, so we're back from the golf shop and here's the weights. They're little sticky, sticky lead weights, uh, three grams each. And what I've done is stuck one on the rim, the opposite uh, position to the valve. And it seems to be, seems to be pretty good. I'll just lay that down a bit actually, because it won't stop in time otherwise and you'll get very bored. Um, but in all the tests I've done so far, um, it actually tends to stop with the valve horizontal as opposed to as opposed to at the bottom. Um, so I think we're pretty close with uh, with three grams. Um, I think potentially. Uh, yeah. I, th I was going to say it could be a touch more, three and a half grams perhaps, but um, there's a little bit of wind out here at the moment. I don't know if that really has much of an effect. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you can tell from that anyway, that uh, that's not too bad at all. The valve is not settling at the bottom, but it's, it's going back up there now. So yeah, that tends to be where it settles and is like in the horizontal position there. So I think that's pretty good. And just three grams is all it takes. Right, so what is it that's going on in an un unbalanced wheel? Well. You can have your wheel like this, um, you can represent the imbalance by a point, say here, with a mass of M. Here's your axis of the wheel, and this is the radius of the wheel here. Now clearly the imbalance force, which is a, a centrifugal force, is going to be related to the mass. The more, the heavier the imbalance is, the worse it is. Uh, also to the, to the radius, the further away the larger the wheel um, it is, then uh, the worse it will be. And also obviously to your speed, but actually to the um, rotational speed squared. Um, this is actually in radians per second, but it's, it's related to, to the RPM of the wheel and the, the speed that you're traveling basically. Um, so now if we look at my example, uh, we had three grams um, of mass uh, the radius is um, 0.334 the meter, I think it was, um, and the radians were 32.67, which is the equivalent of 40 kilometers an hour. So fairly high speed, and uh, and what pops out of there is 1.1 newtons which is quite a small force really, um, equivalent to about 100 grams. Now it's anyone's guess as to whether, you know, how that feels on the bike, can, can you feel that? What kind of sensation does, does, that, does that give you? Um, it's just a figure, it's, it's hard to tell, but certainly 1.1 newtons isn't particularly impressive as, as a force. Um, and people have said, well, yeah, well, most bike and car wheels are always balanced, uh, yeah. You know, if we put in the equivalent figures for a, a motorbike, I mean, I used to have motorbikes and um, a more like realistic weight would be something like 50 grams. Um, the radius is slightly smaller. I've used a smaller radius. I used um, 0.28 of a meter for a slightly smaller wheel, which will reduce the effect. And I use the equivalent of 160 kilometers an hour. I'm going to convert that to radians, but it's 100. So quite a high speed, but most motorbikes can go easily that fast. And what this gives you is 352 newtons. So you can see it's massively more. I mean, it's, uh, it's really, uh, you can't compare the two. It, it's, it, it's huge as figure compared to this one. So clearly you need to balance this wheel. Um, and and that's, why, that's why it's done. But if you keep the speeds pretty low, um, the forces are, are much lower because of this of this exponential square square factor going on here. I mean, it's like uh, it's 
like a tractor wheel. You're not going to balance a tractor wheel because it's just not going fast enough. So, um, yeah, you know, the jury's out on this one a little bit. Is it worth balancing that out? Maybe. Uh, it's, uh, it, clearly, if this, is, if this is zero, then your wheel is perfectly balanced and it's efficient, there's no, nothing going on. So, so yeah, I mean, great, that, that's a good thing to aim for, but is it really going to uh, make, make a huge difference? Are you going to feel it? I don't know. So anyway, I guess the best way to find out if this New Balance wheel is going to make me any faster is tomorrow, because there's a big race, probably one of the biggest in France, 145 kilometers. It's the Pierre Le Bigot in Brittany, and it's on closed roads, uh, 29 euros, which almost all goes to charity. Really well organized. So we'll see how we go there. And um, got this new Corsa Graphene tire on here especially for the occasion so hopefully that will feel good and yeah so i'll report back and see uh if the new balance bike is is all it's cracked up to be